my name is uh, Curtis Wilson, NK0T. Today we're going to demonstrate how to use a computer and uh, some software and a RTL dongle to measure deviation. So what we'll need is um, an SDR dongle receiver and uh, we'll need SDR Sharp radio software and visual analyzer software. And for calibration, you'll need a signal generator that, that uh, has calibrated deviation. So what we'll do to get started is uh, set up SDR Sharp. Bring SDR Sharp on the screen. And the settings that uh, we need to make are number one, um, uh, we start the radio with the play button over here. It'll be in the upper left. Right now it is playing. I'll, I'll stop it and restart it. So that's the play button in the upper left. We start it. So then the next step is the zoom. That's the top bar here. We set that so it displays about 200 kc of, uh, of radio bandwidth display. So the next, uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to make sure that it's in narrow FM. So, and this is the unit right here, right? That is the radio right that's there. That's the radio right down here. So that's what's hooked into his USB. Yes. Okay. So that. Okay. So then uh, the other, the other settings are to set the, um, the receiver bandwidth to 13 kilohertz. Okay. And up here, we are doing the weather frequency. So here is where you set your frequency to 162.55. That's the weather station in Iowa, but this can be anything that you're going to uh, be working with. Can you unmute it just to... Excuse me. So that's our local City National Report, Weather Service. Marshall Town Report, yes. Okay. So those are the settings that you need to make to SDR Sharp. Uh, the next thing we have to do is set up visual uh, analyzer software. And that's down right here. Okay, so this is visual analyzer. The settings that we need to make here are um, in settings, up at the top here, in settings. We need to click on scope. And we need to set this box right here, uh, scope uh, grid, the right hand box right here, we need to have 12 because we're going to use five kilohertz so we need to be able to display six so that we can see our signal. Okay. Um, okay. Um, then under device, device right here and make sure that this box is to window input okay. volume control. Okay. That has the advantage that uh, we can adjust the we can mute the speaker without affecting the levels. So when you're done with those two settings, you have to click OK. And to start this one uh, is in the upper left corner, and there's an on button, and that's how you start this program up right there. So now we have our... our uh, right now it says off. But yes. that's because you clicked on. I clicked on, so the okay. program's on and working. Got it. Uh, the other setting here is uh, that we can set is zoom under the channel A column, zoom to about 130. Okay. So the next thing we're going to set up is a signal generator. So the signal generator, we want to make sure that we have... It's set to five kilohertz. So what what brand is this? What this is a Hewlett Packard, but 
any any signal generator that's uh, calibrated will work. Okay. So I'm going to set the uh, deviation to five kilohertz and our modulation frequency to one kilohertz. Okay. And you we got the need frequency to, set at one sixty two five five zero. Right. Yeah. And a, a, at least a hundred microvolts of output because okay. we want a strong signal with no noise. Got it. Okay. So the next I'm going to hook the RTL dongle up to the signal generator. Okay. So you're taking it off the antenna. Yep. So we've connected our receiver up to the signal generator, and now our display has uh, a, uh, a very strong signal. So now we're going to calibrate our display by using the zoom and using the volume uh, right here. And so... The, the computer volume. The computer volume. We're going to start turning it down. I'm going to mute the speaker. Okay. Because we don't need to listen to that. So that's the tone that's being sent by the signal generator. Yes. Yep. So now I'm going to, since we're at 5KC, I want to set this so that it it is uh, taking up five divisions. Just right about there. Okay. I'm going to mute that receiver again and see if it's safe. There we go. So, one, two, three, four, five divisions. And uh, so that's our plus and minus five kilohertz. So the center line is right here. So you counted the divisions yes. down and up as five divisions. Yeah. Since we set okay. it for 12, there's Got six it. divisions on Got the it. side. Okay. So... Uh, as long as we have a little time, I will show you that uh, that the uh, display is indeed uh, linear. So I'm going to go FM, and we'll go to 4 kilohertz. Notice that now we're taking four divisions, and we'll go to uh, 3 kilohertz. Now yep. we're three divisions, 2 Kilohertz. Yep. Two divisions. So we're calibrated for one kilohertz per division. Good. So now. You got to put that back to five or you leave it we're, where it is? We're done with that. Basically, I can put it back to okay. five, but we're basically done five kilohertz. So it's calibrated pretty nicely. So now I'm going to move the antenna back to an off air antenna. And what we're going to be looking at is our 162.55. And this is going to tell you what... So now what we're looking at is we're looking at the audio from 162.55. And the, the peaks, the very peaks, are just going to touch that uh, 4 kilohertz line. You can see, yep. you'll have to watch it, but you'll see that the very peaks touch the line. That shows us that 162.55 is deviating 4 kilohertz plus and minus accurately. Are you able to take this software and tell it to show me the min and max values that it sees? Not this software. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, in a different video, we may hook up a Rigol scope. Gotcha. And we can use the cursors and the peak hold function. So this is how you uh, set up a computer and software to be a deviation meter. And thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.